Okay. Um, so I'm going to, uh, this is about improvising. So um, what we do today, it, there won't be any, any tunes in there that you'll know. You, you know, it's so difficult just to do that on using, <laughs> using three, three notes, which are uh, a semitone apart. Um, but it's sort of to, to build, to do building blocks um, for four solos. And we'll only have time today to do whole one. But after this, you know, if you think it's been a good workshop, then it'll um, encourage people you to go away and then start um, looking yourself at, uh, at the different holes. Um, I've kept the theory side of things to the absolute minimum because I, I, I know um, that, that that sort of puts a few people off. So I'm not going to say why certain notes work. I'm just going to play. And then if you use your ear, um, so that you, know, you can work out what sounds good for you rather than me saying, well, if you play this note, then it goes over that chord nicely. I think it's one of those things that you have to experiment and, and, um, and do yourself. So um, if I can share a screen, hopefully this is going to work. Um, share screen. There we go. Where are we? So I'm going to start off really, 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 really basic, a basic um, 12 bar. Um, I'll just, I'll just turn on my machine. And if there are any, um, are you, are you unable to, to see that? Just if someone put something in the comments, I think, you should, I think you're okay, aren't you? Um, um, well, I'm just going to start off with it's something that's really straightforward and it, it's going to sound quite, um, quite dry. Um, and I've, I've called it the horn drone. So if you look at the, um, the, the, the what's on what's on the screen now the tab i'm using um this is the tab i prefer and there's about three or four uh, different tabs um and this is simply that if you've got a, a one on its own or a two or a three that is the hole that you're blowing if you've got a minus at the beginning minus sign at the beginning then that's a draw and then here if you've got a if you look further down there's an apostrophe so down here um, that is the, um, that's one single step bend. And then the more bends you get, then you get, um, inverted commas. So I, we don't need to worry about that. All we're doing is one bend today if we can. And it doesn't matter if you can't do the bend, just, um, it'll just sort of give you an idea of the type of, type of thing, um, that we're doing. Now, what's happened here now is, oh, I can see people now. There we go. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play through this first exercise um, and uh, you know, see if you can follow what I'm doing and then I'll play through it, play it, through it twice um, and then if you, you want to have a go and then we'll just see how we got on. So it's basically the, the, the first four bars are draw notes, five and six are blow notes and then we've got a few more draw notes there, blow note, draw note, draw note. So I'll um, let's 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 hope the uh, the IT um, right. You guys want to have a go now? Okay, 
So is that fairly straightforward? Um, now you might think, God, that sounds exceedingly dry. Um, and you know, why are we doing this? But if, if I just play one, one little introduction to, to a song that you'll all know, um, this is on Spotify and it's gonna be very, very loud. Um, and this uses one note and it's just how it, why it sounds good is because of the timing on the notes and, and also like the chord change, it fits in with the chord changes behind and you'll know the song. So it's Brian Ferry. Oh. Okay. Okay, so as I say, that's that's sort of what I'm looking at in, in the next exercise is literally just mixing up the timing. Um, so I'll, I'll, have a, I'll have a little go at that and then, um, then, then, then you can have a, uh, need a sound engineer. Um, You guys remember going? Can you hear me speak? Okay, so um, any questions there at all? If you just use the... Well, yeah, oh. hello, can you yeah. hear me? Um, I joined you a bit late, so I didn't come in and I, I'm not quite with you at the moment, but anyway, uh, I can see what's happening, but I wasn't sure whether I should have been trying with the what I've got here or I don't know. Anyway, I'm listening and I'm hopefully interested. <laughs> yeah, well, that, 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 that's fine. Um, so we, we, we're just looking at um, soloing, just using one hole. So we've just finished exercise one. And yeah. Exercise 1A, so we've, we've varied the time and length of the notes. So if we go on to exercise two, which is what I've called... Um, um, why, why I've called it a horn drone is, is what you'd expect. Um, so if you had um, backing brass, they tend to just play one note over the four bars and, and the chord changes. So that's why I've called it a, a horn drone. That's just my, my own invention. It doesn't actually exist in normal life. Um, so exercise two, if I just whiz through this as well, um, is, is having that lead in note. So rather than just starting with it starts with that. So if, if I get that going.
Do you want another go? So how, how does that, um, was that, was that okay? What, what I did actually mean to do at the beginning was, actually, was to, to go through um, uh, holes one, two, three, four, and six and play it how I, how I play it. So I was meant to do that at the beginning. So, so it's almost to, to, um, to, to, to give you some sort of idea where it could end up and say, so it's not going to be perfect, but it's, um, uh, you know, it's work in progress, progress for me as well. So if, if I just, just, I'll just do a loop of each of those holes and, and just give you an idea of um, what it could sound like or not. <laughs> So, sorry, yes, I should have played that at the beginning. That last one is a bit, um, it, that's very, very li limited hole six. And if you, if, you, if you heard that too many times, you'd probably uh, start throwing things at the player. Um, so um, the next, next thing we can look at is, can, can I just get an idea of, <clears throat> can, I'll just put, let's see if I can see everyone, of, of being able to bend the either hole one or hole four, are people generally okay with that? Um, yeah, okay. So, so the next, so, so far we've used um, two notes. We've used the, the draw and the, and the, and the blow on, on hole one. Um, now I want to introduce the third note, which is the, um, the, the one bend, which is our ending on the one draw. Um, Similarly, you can do it on the four. If, say, if, I, th I think generally people get the four bend first. So you may want to do that instead of the one bend. Um, um, so again, I'll, I'll play through this once. Um, and then after that, if, 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 you, if you folks want to have a go as well um, and, and see how you get on, um, I could say, I, I can't see the chat at the moment, so I'm not actually sure if there are any 
any questions coming in. Um, let's, let's have a look. Actually, it's not it's not letting me um, see the chat. Um, right, okay. If I just stop sharing, because I, I want to want to see if anyone's got any questions. Yes, here we are. Um, will we be able to download this exercise? Yes, um, I'll put it on the website pretty much straight after this uh, session. Um, sounds gone. I can hear you okay. Yes, it's on a C harp. Sorry. Um, this is nice to hear on each hole. Well, thank, thanks, Mary Beth. Um, is this, this, is this the same exercise just on different holes? No, so, sorry, Paul, it's, it, we're just using hole one or hole four, which is an octave apart. So it's the same, it's the same note. I'm using hole one, but if you're finding that bending on hole four is easier, then use, use hole four. I use the other, the other holes just to sort of demonstrate what it could uh, or couldn't necessarily, if you, if you don't like it, but what it sounds like on all, all, all of the, the five bend, um, the five holes where you've got draw bends. Um, so I think, I think we're okay there. So I'll, I'll start sharing again. Um, where are we? Right, here we go again. So I'll, I'll, I'll check the check the messages at, at, at the end of each exercise, and uh, so if you've got anything, just 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 please let me know. Um, right. So I, I, I my um, technology is not brilliant. I've got a I've got a, a pig nose um, uh, little lamp and my iPhone, so it's um, that's why there's a little bit of delay in things. Um, so exercise three, introducing that bend. So I'll stop sharing now and see if there's any questions there. Um, lol, pig nose. <laughs> yeah. Um, so they're quite hard to get hold of in, in, uh, in the UK at the moment. So, um, but um, how did people get on with that? Was that, was that okay? Just, just if anyone wants to put any, um, any comments down there, did that sort of make sense? Um, I, I think Mad Dog, you you came through and I could hear it, it sounded okay. You got the bend in. Um, oh right, not really. Um, what what's the, what's the issue, Mad Dog? Anything anything particular? Can I talk? Is it right to talk? You can talk. Yes. Um, I just um, I'm not quite clear um, on on your abbreviations, but are you are you saying you draw and then 
blow. I mean, I just did it by lip service, by what you were playing. I didn't know what I was really doing, so right. I was improvising, really. Okay, the, um, where, where you've got the minus one, I, I'll, I'll share the screen again. Just, just bear with me. I didn't know where the bend came in and when the, the, you just drew. Okay, no, not a problem. Um, so if we look at this exercise three, so I'm starting on a, on a one draw. Yep. And then I'm bending that. And then I'm letting go of the bend, so you got... So together you get that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Sense, yeah, and and the way you, where you're going here, it's slight, a little bit more difficult because when you're actually already um, already drawing on the note, it's sort of it's easier to do it than if because you've got it's all within that same breath. So you're just just changing the shape of your mouth a little bit. Whereas mm -hmm. if you if you're doing the um, num, uh, bar five, let's say. When you do that what one you bend, you've got to sort of um, get have your mouth ready um, to do the. Don't know. But if Can't you can, do that. I mean, you, you can. How you're playing there is you can start to hear that the, the note is choking, which is you know, which is what you, what they sort of say about getting the reeds, getting the reeds to um, to allow the bend to happen. So it, again. These sorts of things. This is this is one of the aims: is to, um, to is to practice your bends. Um, we've got. Uh, oh, someone, someone's battery is low. Oh, ho hopefully, you can come back. We've also got poorly found it very easy to bend on hole one. Is it because it's a low note and the reed bends? Well, um, I think pe people generally. I think it's, I think it's. Yeah, well, certainly with me, I came across bends by accident. This was before any internet or, or um, you know, the books that you could buy in the local music store weren't that brilliant. So, um, generally, you know, there, there is no one bend to start with. Well, no one, no particular one. You'll you'll pick up a harmonica and think, well, okay, people say it's like sucking a straw, and it might work better on different holes than um, than other holes. So it's it's really again it's just exploring what's the, the sort of shapes with inside your mouth. Thinking, oh, oh right, okay, okay, that's. A... And, as, and as soon as you start hearing that little drop in 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 um, in, in the note, so even though that's very tiny, what I've done there. If you're getting that, then you're on the you're on the road to um, to, to, to being able to bend, um, and so, so when you say is it very easy to bend on hole one because it's lower? Um, I say what I've heard is I mean this 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 this, this might be different different, but is that hole four tends to be one of the easier notes to bend um, first. But, but also, as, as I mentioned at the beginning, different holes have different amounts of bend. So it's um, hole one and hole four are quite nice because you've you can just do it. There's, there's only one bend there. But when you get into hole two, you've actually got two bends there. So if I play those bends. So there's, there's little little changes in 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 um, in my mouth shape there, and the the lower one is probably the first one that you'd get because that's sort of that's as far as you can go. Whereas the that the what they call the half step bend, you, you do have to practice that, and the same goes for for hole three as well. You got. So you got three bends there. So you got. So again, that this will. That's why I've just focused on hole one, hole one, and hole four today because you're only you're only doing three notes. So there's it's less complicated than say if you say if you started on um, 
on, on hole two and hole three. There's, 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 there's all sorts going on there. Um, so are there any questions there at all? Does that, does that all sort of make sense? Um, yes. Okay, thank you. So we'll go, go, go back to sharing the screen again. Um, um, oh, and just, just to say, um, with regards to backing tracks, um, for years, I've used um, some on YouTube that's, um, it's, might be, it might be worth writing this down. Um, if you put into Google search, Cliff Smith, uh, blues backing track, and then what key? So we've got G here, then you'll get, then you'll get um, this exact same backing track that, that I've got um, going now. Um, and they do it, he does it in three different speeds. So you've got slow, medium, fast, strangely enough. So this is, this is medium, but then there's also another really, really useful app that again, it's free. So if, if, I, if I just, I'm not sure if it's on my, see where it says any tune there top you'll be your top right won't it um what you get there is you, you, you i say you can't really go into a great deal of detail because you probably can't see much what's going on but you've you've literally got um sort of stop and start you can, if i just turn it down a little bit so you, but then also on here you can um change the speed but also change the key So, so if you're if you're playing along to a track and a little Walter track or, or whatever, and it's not in the right key, because often they're not in the the normal keys that um, that you'd play harmonica in. But I think mainly because of the way they're recorded, um, different speeds of um, of of, of, your, of the your, tur your turntable compared to when it was recorded. Um, it's really really useful for for doing that. And again, it's a, it's a free app. Um, say I've, I've I must have used it for about six or seven years years and when I've um, uh, wanted to learn particular solos note by note I can slow it down to 30 percent so you can hear every little note so it just it's just a little tip there that, um, that if you're looking for backing tracks and stuff like that that there that is a, um, those backing tracks and that little app really that really work well for me so just just give it a go if, if you if if you know if you want to um what is the, what is the name of the backing track or app it's called um it's called uh, any tune any so tune. Again, if, if i if i show the little so you can see the little okay so that's okay yes so that's the little icon um Thank but it is. It's. It is. It's. It's. Um. I, there might be better ones out there. I don't know. But it. It does. It does for what I need. So. Um, yeah. Sounds it's, great. Sorry. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Okay. Um. Just see that any. Oh yeah. There we go. What's it called again? So it's everyone okay with that with that app? Yeah. Um. So I'm just. All oh, right, so you got the, the name of the backing track. So, so if, if it's, it's in YouTube, um, Cliff Smith. Uh, so, so this is this is you typing at a search. Um, Cliff Smith, um, blues backing track, and if you put the the key, then then it will come straight away, key of G, and you you should, um, you, you you should you, you should be able to get exactly the same what I've got got here um, the slow is slow and the fast is fast so so if you just just be warned about that but with the any tune app um, so you see Michael's um, mentioned about any tune if you can change the speed on it anyway so at the moment I'm running that 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 you that track on at 90 percent um, but the thing about any tune is is it it will only look at the um, files in your iTunes library, or I'm not quite sure if it's on a different Android, but what it would be on a different Android phone. So I managed to, in the days where you could convert YouTube to, to MP3, I don't think you can do that anymore, but I, 
um, I converted them to a to a sound file and I put it into my iTunes. Uh, um, uh, so, uh, di yeah, directory folder, um, and it um, yeah, and, and it immediately imports them in. So things like Spotify don't work. So um, so perhaps there are ones out there where that that, that do work with Spotify. So. Um, sorry, that was a long um, that was a long diversion. Sorry about that. Um, so, Pete, so does any time pick up a tune, and we'll change the key for you to say. Um, I'm not sure if I've, if I've half half answered that. Not sure about Amazon, but it's if it goes into your into your iTunes. Um, oh, uh, if you go to your iTunes, then it it will work. And again, just just contact me if you need any help with that, because it's 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 once you once you get it going, it it's really is it really is good. Um, I think someone's. I can hear someone. Let me just mute everyone again. Sorry. Um, okay. Well, going back to the exercise. Um, so if there's any questions you want to want at the end, then just start typing them in now because I'm, I'm aware that I've probably got another 10 minutes or so. Um, so I could just share screen again, go back to this. Um, I'm just wondering whether or not we move directly onto, onto exercise four then. Um, oh no, I'll tell you what, should, should we skip um, exercise four because that's, pretty similar. That's going from exercise three was, whereas exercise four is just the bend. I suppose you could argue that those two exercises should have been the other way around actually. Uh, oh, sorry. I'll just play that through once anyway, and then, um, and then I'll, I'll let it run if you want a quick go as well. Um, let's Let's get things going again. Yeah. You guys another go. So if we go straight to exercise four A, so varying the timing and number of notes. go through that for a, for a loop. Okay, so I'll see if there's any questions there now. Um, where are we? All oh, right, someone, Andrea has mentioned there is music speed changer for Android. So that, that might be something to, uh, to, to look into. Music speed changer. So if you look in the comments, you can see that there. Um, and if we go back to the, the screen, uh, there we go. So this exercise five uses all three notes. And again, you know, it might take a little while to sort of get, get your 
um, get, get your mouth around the, the bending. Or if you're using whole four. So I'll play through that once and then um, let, let, let you go uh, a couple of loops around and then I'll go straight into uh, 5A, exercise 5A, which is um, varying that timing again. So um, again, sorry. <laughs> um. <laughs> guys go so do another another loop there So going straight into exercise 5A. So we've got any other doesn't show on um oh no, I don't, and then there's no new messages there so how how how, how did that did, was that okay um and i think it it is it, still there is still that discipline side to me because i um i wasn't follow, there was one bit where i i wasn't following what i should have been playing but it's it's just sort of so, so easy to um to, to, to sort of stray off the off off the music, so I think um, these exercises are just to sort of giving you give you an insight into into what you can do. Um, but a lot of it is down again with, with with harmonica playing or any instrument is practice and w work out little riffs that you think sound quite nice, different timings, um, um, and yes. Yeah, so so, so uh, have we got any? Other questions? So we've got Pauline, that was really useful and a good place to start with the one note and the bend included. Well, that's, that, that, that's good. Can uh, I just speak, can I? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I play a chromatic normally, um, but I've picked it up and I've enjoyed doing these little exercises. Um, not with my chromatic, but I've got other harps, obviously. Mm. I've enjoyed doing it. It's the first time I've ever done it and it's the first time I've realised that I could bend a note. So right. you've taught me that. Oh, Thank that, you. That's, 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 that's a, oh, you, you made me blush now. <laughs> <laughs> now that is, that's, um, I could say it, that absolutely basic building blocks and, you know, this, if, if you get a backing track and have it going for, I mean, I think that lasts for about four or five minutes. Um, just blast it through. All right, it'll annoy your neighbours and uh, rest of the people in your house and, and animals if you've got any. Um, but which is probably why 
hole, hole one is better because it's less less shrill. Um, I found hole four better. That's fine. That's yeah. yeah. That's that, that. That's fine. I mean, I, I think I think it's what what works for you, and that's that's the whole point of this. Really, there's there's no right or wrong. All all I'm doing is sort of sharing with you the stuff that that that, that I get up to. Um, uh, uh, so so if you if you've if you've managed to get your your, your bend two going, you might think, well, oh, right, well, I'll I'll have a have a good play around with with with. with um, with hole two, so again, it's it's just giving you some basic, um, basic building blocks, um, and unless there are no other questions, uh, should, should we should we go for a for a bit of a break and then Richard will be here at three. Um, so I'm talking about shrill notes is is a segue into next week because um, I'm actually going to be doing. Um, Another another one of these, but sort of starting to look at the top end of the harmonica, the bit that not many many people like to go to. Um, so I, I'll I'll still be hosting now, but um, that's it's just it, that, that's one thing I say with with players out here. It's what, what what do we do at the top end? How how do I play up there? And there are some really quite straightforward types of things. You know, you hear all these people doing all the bending and everything. Um, but you actually don't 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 need any bends at all to start to start um, to start working the top end. So, okay, well I'm just gonna nip away for five minutes and um, uh, yeah, any more? Yeah, that's, that's a, okay. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so, and hopefully Richard's in the room. Um, okay, thank you. Ah, oh, Richard is in the room. Where are you? Hi, hey, Richard. Good advice there, buddy. That was great. Was it? Was that okay? Was it? Excellent. You know, I'm always banging on about um, if I'm teaching harmonica, I'm always, always, always saying, "Listen, I'm here to help you to become a musician who plays harmonica." Mm. Not I'm a harmonica player. They're very different things. Mm. In my mind, a harmonica player is, you know, you could be down the pub and they say so-and-so is a harmonica player. Mm. And jam, And there's a few licks or a few <clears throat> phrases and so on, but they may not actually be following the, the chord structure. No. And anchoring down those tonics, you know, the, 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 the um, root notes as the mm. song goes. As you, you just implied at the top end, carrying up there, it's the same deal. It may be back to front, but it's the same deal. And just doing that and, and, and adhering to that protocol is mm. going to playing and increase your applause at the end of the, the piece or the show. Yeah. You know, and, and we all have, don't get me wrong, we all have a default button. <laughs> mm. you know, lights, and we're up here, the smell of the crowd and the glare of the lights, or is it the other way around? <laughs> now we have our default button nevertheless if you can kind of pause a little bit and mm. let, take yourself to the drawing board or outside the box of the immediate situation yeah and overlay some of that